So what's up guys, my name Ian is Damien. Today we're going to talk about light painting because a few people asked what is this light painting because I kind of mentioned it but I didn't really explain it so today I'm going to explain it. Um, I'm going to show you on a real car, not on a CGI car because I rather want to show you the real concept and where this idea comes from because if you understand that it's going to be easier to use it in 3D. Um, yeah, otherwise, as you may be noticed, I finally hit 10k subscribers, so super awesome, finally. Um, and as a celebration, I thought I'm going to do a live stream on Saturday, and I'm basically going to react and review and rewatch and look back to my videos. Um, and I'm yeah going to watch every single of my videos live. Um, I don't know. I thought it's going to be fun. The live stream might go forever, but still, I think it's a funny little thing to do. So why not? So uh, come join on Saturday if you want. Um, otherwise, we're going to learn how to paint some cars right now. Let's jump uh, into painting. <laughs> so all you need is some light source and a camera. So I'm going to use this LED light sword. Uh, next, we have to find a car and a location. So that's what we're going to do right now. So once you found your location and you set up the camera, we're just going to take multiple photos so of the daytime lights with low exposure. Next with long exposure, I'm going to basically light paint the car paint. So I'm going to use my light source, walk around the car. Um, I'm going to blend in how this image looks like so you even understand what I'm doing here. Uh, so basically the idea is to light every single part. So now I'm lighting the rims and also it doesn't matter what you use. You can use huge soft boxes, flashes, reflectors, really anything that creates light and just try to light every single part of the car and that's the idea and the same idea is going to apply for the interior as well. I'm not going to do interior today but it's exactly the same process and also in 3D it's going to be the same process. So next we're just going to hop into Lightroom. So we're in Lightroom. I'm just going to show you the photos real quick and also show myself the photos real quick. So this is what the photos look like. Um, once you kind of look through and everything looks fine you're going to export the ones you're going to use in Photoshop. So just export them to a folder. It's always very important to name the folder exactly as what you took the photo of. So it's a 600 horsepower Clio with V8 6.2 liter supercharger. So now that it's correctly named, just drop it into Photoshop, drop in all your layers. So once dropped in, we're gonna blend them together with light or lighten. And then I'm just gonna disable them. I'm gonna drop in a black background on the very bottom base and basically I'm just going to add one image after the other. So I'm going to mask, mask them out and just paint them in. So whatever looks good in one of the photos, I'm going to just paint in that part and nothing else. So I'm blacking out the window and I'm really just painting in the background in a slight reflection in the uh, car paint. So the next photo has a lot of reflections. So I'm going to take most of that actually. That's what I thought. And then I realized actually the base shadow looks really good in that render. So now I'm just going to use this photo for the base shadow actually. So we've just got a nice base shadow or core shadow. Um, now I'm actually going to copy and paste this image. And now I'm going to take a little bit of the reflections in for the car paint. And I'm just going to speed through this process because it's just a lot of painting. There's a ton of painting. So basically just painting, painting, masking, masking. Um, yeah, so here you see I got the rims now. Now it's pretty much finished. Uh, now I joined everything. Now I'm going to color grade. Just some basic color grading. I'm not really changing much, uh, much. I just made it a little bit cooler and the color tone, adding a little bit of clarity is pretty much it. Just slight adjustments, nothing crazy here. So as you can see, it almost looks the same. Now I'm just going to retouch the dirt a little bit, or not the dirt, or also the dirt, but mainly these little reflection things, kind of real life noise. <laughs> Um, and also to um, make the car look clean, even though it's quite dirty, I'm just going to add one little sparkle on the front chrome. So everyone thinks on first glance, wow, this car is super clean. So next, we're just going to add the Renault F1 team logo, since this is the V8 Supercharged Clio edition. So we have to add the correct logo as well. Next, we're just going to add some blind text for things you should sign and sell your soul for. 
So don't forget that, that's very important. And next, since it's a F1 Team Clio, don't forget the spoiler. I really don't understand why any car would leave the factory without a spoiler. I don't know why they keep making this mistake over and over. So I fixed this real quick and that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you like it. So this is how it looks like with the actual camera and the actual car, but in 3D, actually it's pretty much exactly the same workflow. So yeah. So I hope you liked the video. Um, yeah, I hope you learned something. I thought it was important that you see the real origin um, of where this technique comes from. Uh, maybe I can, if you're interested, I can make another video on interior photography. Otherwise, next video, I would just hop into CGI. So I would use this technique that I've shown you uh, and use it in computer graphics. Um, and yeah, basically, yeah, that's it. So yeah, see you guys. Oh, and of course, don't forget Saturday live stream every single video. Bye.